Hello, Lynch Pinners. My name's Scott. I wanted to show you my home gym. So as you're going to see, my home gym is all about storage efficiency and maximizing the placement of my equipment to get the best out of my workout. No, it's about where my wife will let me put my ever-expanding pile of stuff. So here we go. Starting out here in the gym, got some lovely horse stall mats that I haven't cleaned in a couple of years. It's fine, especially when you get down and do burpees on them. Got a barbell and some plates. Uh, you can see, obviously, a pull-up bar and a set of rings hanging there. Those rings are my friend. Um, and then the weight plates uh, stored safely and out of the way underneath the sketch level yellow, sketch level red. Sketch level, what's, sketch level yellow red, sketch, orange. Sketch level orange wheelbarrow that hangs well above head height. I'm gonna kill myself one day getting that down. And then, of course, loadable dumbbells. They're expensive to start out with, but they're worth the investment because you'll save it eventually not buying half a million pairs of dumbbells. So, we're gonna take a quick pause, make a cut, and we're gonna go see the rest of my equipment. We have moved all the way across the house from the garage and down a set of steps where we start our second part of our tour with this lovely Satan's tricycle. I have a love, hate, 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 hate relationship with this thing, but it does work. Uh, highly recommend the wind guard if you don't have one of these things. Um, yeah. Turning a little bit, you can see here uh, various implements for mobility. I found mobility helped me a lot, especially overhead uh, snatches, overhead squats, those sorts of things. A lot more comfortable, uh, a lot less pain in my shoulders too. Various kettlebells of different sizes and weights, uh, a set of parallettes. Some crash mats, uh, if I'm doing anything heavy lifting or if I'm going to be dropping a barbell, I take those up into the garage and I use them. Uh, it helps keep everybody in the house happy. Some fractional plates down there. Uh, there's a landmine that you probably can't see. Uh, a slam ball that I only use for warming up. Uh, a set of 45 pound dumbbells uh, that I just have left over never got rid of. It seems to be a sweet spot for me. Uh, they're absolutely miserable to work with uh, and they keep me challenged and so I just keep them handy down here. Uh, plyo box, uh, the, the great destroy your shin kind. It's my favorite. Uh, I decided to be economical uh, when buying one of those and I don't regret that decision at all. Uh, there is a 20 pound weight vest, a couple more stretching implements and some bands. Uh, this right here, if you've not seen one of these, this is a Wisecrack ab mat. Uh, and it's worth every penny, if only to keep random people from asking you, why do you have that big red mark on your butt? Moving along, uh, the last thing on our tour here is a Dolomer roll. This is 3 by 6 uh, it's great, super dense foam. Uh, I use this for a mat when I'm stretching or handstand push-ups. Uh, really helps me quite a bit, but allows me to keep a, a nice flat surface. There's a few other bits uh, laying around the house, a, a home timer, things like that. But by and large, that is it. So happy lynch pinning, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the home gym tour.